Aaron Singerman here with RxMuscle.com at the Houston Pro Show, and I am standing with none other than the one and only Stacy Thompson. I guess you could say you're like kind of like the co-promoter of this show, wouldn't you say? I would say I am the promoter. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't tell Mr. Thompson that. Yes, we co-promoted together. <laughs> not only, though, not only is Stacy the co-promoter, but she is a IB pro that has competed this year yes. in not only figure and place top five, yes. but bikini and place top five. Yes, yes. So that makes you infinitely qualified to do the wrap-up with me for bikini and figure. Infinitely. Infinitely. I like that word. Yes. Let's go right to the wrap-up of the bikini. Well, third place, we have Vanessa Preble, okay, who we first saw, or I first saw in yeah. Atlanta at Nationals. Yeah, last week. Yeah, last week. Mm -hmm. And she won the overall. And would you say, I mean, it's obviously it was a good decision for her to come here right after, a week after. Um... One overall na uh, nationals in Atlanta comes here a week later after winning her pro card, and now she's going to the O in 2011. Why would you say that's a bad choice? She's got a good presentation. She's a beautiful girl, and she's she's a high quality athlete. So absolutely, very good choice. She wins nationals one week later. She walks home with prize money and a qualification. Hey. Hey, that's a good week. Yeah, that's like good. That. That's punch out time. <laughs> Next, in second place, we had Natalie Pennington. Did you notice I didn't have to look at the sheet? Oh, right? I didn't Natalie, either. Yeah, no, Natalie. Because you told uh, me. <laughs> here she, cheater. Uh, so Natalie Pennington, right? Second place. Now, this is a girl we have seen a few times in Dallas, right? Yes. Uh, what did you think of her presentation? What she brought to the stage this time? I actually competed with Natalie um, at the muscle contest. Did you, did you beat her? Uh, she took fifth. I was fourth. So, so, yes, you beat her. We were all top five. We were all winners. <laughs> <laughs> Very politically correct. Good job, good job, good job. What was your question? I said, well, did you worry impressed with what she brought to stage? Oh, oh absolutely. I always am. Um, I think, again, um, she always shows up. Um, with Natalie, I think she just brings a different presentation because she has got that sex appeal. Mm -hmm. You know, she always shows up with a sexy look, right. and she presents herself with a sexy look. So it's a completely different vibe. And I always, I love watching her on stage because you just kind of melt into her. Right. Cool. So yeah, I always enjoy Natalie, and I, I think she showed up great. So in first place, we have Chelsea Montez, right? Uh, Houston, did I say her name right? You know what? It's Chelsea Montez, and actually, I got my pro card with Chelsea. We were the first bikini pro. Chelsea? Chelsea, yes. I think I said it wrong when I interviewed holding you. my wrist because I heard it carrying all the boxes. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Are you, is it still but bothering it's, you? It's, it, no, I was just saying that so that you didn't think I was... Yeah, anyway. Okay. Um, Chelsea Montez, and I and her and I competed at the Junior USA's in South Carolina in 2009 together. Uh, right. And we were the first bikini pros together. Oh, there so you go. She's a very near and dear friend of mine, and that is friendly. why that is why we have Stacy Thompson doing the play by and the sorry the wrap up. You could have done the play by play. I could have done the play by play, but I, yes, absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, Chelsea. I mean, here's the thing about Chelsea. She's been busting her butt since day one, and I've always really. Uh, she's a very compact girl, so I know she's had to bring it in a little bit tighter and present more of a longer body yeah, because she's tiny she's really tiny at the interviewer i was like this <laughs> we we have um doorknobs that are below the so that she can she can go to the bathroom no but <laughs> she, <laughs> so she could say well somebody let me into the bathroom please stacy now, now this is her second this will be her second o though Second O, oh, yeah. 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 And she's I already mean, qualified. So she's so she won her pro card in two thousand and nine and she's been going to the O every year since she won her pro card. So let me ask you, Stacy, I know this is watching all the bikini shows, I, I wonder to myself when I'm watching, okay. how important is the bikini walk? Oh <laughs> I mean can a bikini walk make or break a competitor? Um I think that a bikini walk can make or break a presentation and a and a, and a placement, absolutely. So now that you are a figure competitor, are, are you going to stick with figure? No comment? That's a gray area? To be announced. To be announced. Okay. <laughs> well, just for our, our viewers at home, because and, and Dave likes the goofy stuff, and, and I like to see the bikini walks. Will you demonstrate? I know this. Oh, come what? on. I'm putting you on the spot. But can you show us what a correct bikini walk 
And not the bouncy one. I'm going to see I won't the, say that the, the I, good I won't one. say that it's correct. First of all, I'm off-season, so I'm not feeling the most confident. But I won't say it's the correct. I'll show you my bikini walk. But I only did it once on the stage, you got to remember, because I only competed as a bikini pro once. So I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I would just say that I like to do it. <laughs> okay, good. Good enough for us. All right, should, okay, I, should really, I back out of the way? Should, should, or where, do you want to do it from where here? Where's the camera view going to be? This is wherever you go. go. Tim's got you. Okay. you're my angel. Gotta make you see. I'm the one for you. Hey now. You're the one for me. Okay, so third place with the bigger girls we are looking at. Oh, Monica Specking, okay? Monica yeah. Specking, another yeah. overall yeah. winner mm -hmm. at Nationals of last week. Obviously, another good choice to yes. jump in straight from Nationals here. Already qualifies. Monica Specking, what did you think of her overall shape and appearance? Um, you know, it's just always different when you're looking at a new athlete who's coming up so fast. Right. Because you're so used to seeing the, the, uh, the same girls come in and place you know, pretty much top 10. You can kind of guess it, moving right. around a little bit here and there. But I like her. I think she's good. I mean, I think the judges, you know, were right on with her placement. And um, she's obviously, she. I mean, she earned it because right. it was last week, right? Last week, yeah. Yeah, that she earned her program. Yeah. Now, to me, that's the third athlete at this show that has won their pro card last week right. and then fed into this show and now are going to the O. Yep. That's crazy. Pretty impressive. Definitely, yeah. definitely, these girls definitely made a good choice by coming here to Houston. That's for sure. I, of course. Okay, so next on our list was really, if you have to look at it, Teresa Anthony was really the contest favorite for figure because she placed seventh at the Olympia. So, so you look at the rest of our list, and we do have some other uh, girls that did the Olympia, but nobody above seventh. So you would think, coming to the show, Teresa Anthony would be our favorite. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, just b based on the numbers? Yeah, based on the numbers. Based on numbers, yes. Now, she got up on stage. She walked out. Uh, she was before our actual winner, uh, Courtney West. And when I saw her come out, I was impressed. I thought she looked as good, if not even maybe a little better, than she did in Las Vegas at the O. Great shape, small waist, wide clavicles. What did you think? Um, I think a lot, to be honest with you, a lot of the competitors that competed at the O looked different. They look we're talking about top three, I know, but Chrissy, Katina, uh, and Teresa, uh, they all did something between now and then. Mm -hmm. But absolutely, I think that she posed um, a lot so wider, but still softer, mm -hmm. and she was a little fuller. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you agree? Yeah, I think so. I think I that's think, a, good, I think, a good... I think she was a little fuller. A though. good assessment, a good yeah. assessment. But all in all, she still looked... Uh, Teresa looked as good, would you say, as at the... Oh, oh yeah. yeah okay. a, a little better. Okay, so yeah. then that brings us to Courtney West. But I Houston. like the fuller look, so look. when I say that, I like that. That's yeah. my opinion. Okay. <laughs> I do too. So Courtney West takes the show. She wins. Now, this is somebody who got her pro card at the USA's in Vegas mm -hmm. this summer. She mm -hmm. comes here for her pro debut and wins the show mm -hmm. yeah. and qualifies for the Olympia. So Teresa took seventh at the Olympia. Courtney made a pro debut here. And Monica and won. She took first. And, and yeah, and, and, and Courtney took first next to a seventh place Olympia. And that's Girl. a big deal. That's a big deal. Good for Courtney. I mean, she's been working real hard. I know that she's been, well, she took two years off right. from competing. So this is what's kind of amazing about Courtney. She takes two years off from competing, decides she wants to come back in. She comes in, she wins her pro card. That she comes in and gets her pro first pro, um, I mean her O qual, her first pro show, and wins prize money. And what does she do with the prize money? She donates it. She donated to the cause. So smart choice by her to come and do the show, a because she gets her O placement. Well, what's what's the cause? She, what's but the then cause? what she decided to do after that was donate her winnings, whatever they were going to be, to the cause uh, uh, to the American. Um, to the American Cancer Association for uh, raising the awareness on breast cancer because we're doing this show in October. We we're like, you know what? Let's rally around. We usually do, um, like, we raise awareness for kids in the. Oh, I'm stumbling now. I don't know why. The ghetto. I don't want to say the ghetto, the lower income children, okay. but because it is 
thank you. But you lightened it up a little bit. But because it is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we really end, it touched a lot of our hearts. We really wanted to raise that awareness. So she comes around and she's like, all right, well, guess what I'm going to do? In addition to what you raise, I'm going to give you my check, too. So we just got done presenting the check to Lori at the American Cancer Association here in the Houston area. I, I feel like I want to say it was a work of the man above for having such a big show because of that cause. Because to honest, Aaron, we were expecting to raise maybe a thousand dollars. We're already at six plus thousand dollars. Very and nice. We're we haven't even got done counting our evening tickets. So it was it was a, a blessing, honestly, and we're so happy. And the fact that Courtney did that, I mean, that just goes and shows you her character. Yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely. Go ahead and stop there. Yeah. And we'll say that's a wrap. No. <laughs> For Stacy Thompson, Aaron Singerman, RxMuscle.com.